Hey guys, so this is my last book review, and it is for Chain Reaction, whoa, by Simone Alcalaz, and this is the third book in the um, Perfect Chemistry series, um, and I gave this one actually a three out of five. Um, I liked it, but I much, 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 much prefer the first one. Um, this one fell flat for me for sure. Um, the cover is all right. I don't really understand what it has to do with anything, but whatever. And the premises is about Luis, who is the youngest brother, and he has big plans to um, go to school to be an astronaut. And um, he has his 10-year plan all figured out. And then he meets a girl named Nikki, who is Mexican, but she was raised as a white um, family, meaning that there's no Hispanic cultural anything in her life. And she was hurt by someone named Marco. And so she is very hesitant to trust. And so Luis kind of is an, an adrenaline junkie and decides to take Nikki on as a challenge. And um, they end up falling in love. So um, I don't even know what to say about this one. I was super, super excited to read this. I thought that I just love, you guys know how much I love Perfect Chemistry, like adore it. And so I was really excited about this one. And then um, Rules of Attraction was okay. I think I actually gave it a 4 out of 5. And then I gave this one a 3 because it was just lame. And I think I'm kind of over the Fuentes brothers, the whole going down the line. And the ending was like, what the heck? Like it was a total, total setup for another series. And I'm not sure if I'm going to read it or not. Because I'm kind of over that family. I don't know. I love, and Alex and Dan, um, Brittany are still my favorite characters. They're in this book. And they're still my favorite characters. Alex is my favorite Fuentes boy. I will always have a soft spot in my heart for him. Because I just, oh, that it was so amazing. But this one, I thought that the writing fell flat. And I thought that Nikki was seriously so irritating that I, I wanted to throw her against the wall. Oh, God. I hated her. But, uh, yeah. Um, the writing is still great as all Simone Elkless books are. I love the writing. Um, I just thought that this book wasn't very exciting. It wasn't amazing. and There wasn't a lot of plot, really. I mean, there wasn't anything really exciting about it for some reason. And um, I just thought that it fell flat. And I think um, Simone Elkless should stop kind of with this family kind of thing because I think she she just didn't compare to the first one. I don't know if she's tired or what, but to me, it just fell flat. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, I was super excited, but I've heard a lot of people feel the same way that I do about this one, and um, I just... I get Nikki had issues. I get that, especially at the beginning. I couldn't imagine, but good Lord, woman, give it a break. Get over it. Like, oh my God, she was like 15 when this happened. And oh, it was, it was, I just wanted to strangle her. I hate, I hate people who hold grudges and it drives me nuts. And it's one of my, a big turn off for me. That's probably why I gave this book a three out of five is I hated Nikki. So um, my favorite part actually was when Alex and Brittany, Carlos and Kiara and, um, not so much Nikki, but Luis got together, like, and hung out, especially the panty discus. Oh, my God, that was so funny. So um, I, I really liked that part, but, um, and I enjoyed the brothers' banter, and the secret, actually, the big family secret in this book was pretty interesting. Like, it was, I was thrown for that. So, yeah, um, like I said, not the best one by far in the Perfect Chemistry series. Definitely pick up the first one. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed the first one much more than this one, M mainly for Nikki, but as always, the writing is great, the plot was meh, and, um, the storyline, everything, it was just kind of long, and the epilogue was really horrible to me, just because it was really corny and cheesy, and I was just wondering, like, you can totally tell that the wheels were turning in the author's head to make a like another series off of this one like a spin-off series so you could totally tell that and that was I didn't really like that because I wanted to be kept guessing and be surprised so yeah I don't know what I'm going to read next um hmm we'll see but yeah kind of disappointed but what can you do 
So thank you guys so much for watching 3 out of 5 for Chain Reaction by Simone Oakles. And I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you're having a great Saturday. And see you later. Bye.